Hey, hello guys. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install IntelliJ IDEA Java Code Editor on your Android phone so you can easily code Java on your Android phone without any error. So guys, if you want to install that code editor, first of all, you need to install Ubuntu operating system on your Android phone via Thermux. So if you not have installed already, so go and watch this video and install it first. Okay, so in that video, I'm going to show you how you can install IntelliJ IDEA using your Ubuntu operating system. So I'm going to log into my Ubuntu operating system and enable my VNC viewer. Okay, so just I'm going to open this VNC server and VNC app and you can see we are accessing our Ubuntu operating system GUI mode on our Android phone. So if you don't know how to use this, don't worry, watch that video and you will be able to understand everything about this GUI desktop. Okay, so let's install IntelliJ IDEA now. So for that you need some commands. So just open any web browser and type IntelliJ IDEA Mahesh Technicals and search it. Then you will see this article which is from MaheshTechnicals.com. Just open this article and you will land on this page. Okay, so if you don't found this article, don't worry, just click on search icon and type idea and press enter. Then you will able to see this article. Just open this article. Here I give you all the instructions to install IntelliJ IDEA on your Android phone. Okay, so let's move to the next step. So first of all, first requirement is make sure you have Ubuntu installed on your Termux or you can use Kali Linux as well. But if you use Kali Linux, then it will take 15 GB of your internal storage. But if you use Ubuntu, then it will take 5 to 6 GBs. So use whatever you want. So if you use Kali Linux, then use nh command or if you use Ubuntu, then you can use Ubuntu command to start. So we already started our Ubuntu. So now first command is sudo apt update to update our packages so make sure you are in the local host or ubuntu mode otherwise it will not work okay so we are already logged into my ubuntu now i'm going to paste this command which is apt update so which will help you to update all your ubuntu packages to the new version okay so now the next step is to download and install wget package. So this package will help you to download files from internet. So just paste and enter this command and it will take some time and done. Now the next command is to download the script. This is our IntelliJ IDEA installer script. So we are going to download this script. So just copy whole command properly. Then come here and paste and enter. Now you can see, let me show you ls and now you can see we have IntelliJ IntelliJIdea.sh file is downloaded. Now we are going to give execu executable permissions to that file. So for that just copy this command, paste here and press enter. Make sure your command is properly copied otherwise it will not work. Now just ls, now you can see our file is in green color now. It means executable permissions are properly granted. Now just run this script. So to run this script, just copy this command. sudo bash into the idea.sh command and press here, paste and enter. Now you, will, you have two options, which is install and uninstall. So we are going to install. So type one and press enter. It will start installing IntelliJ IDEA on your Ubuntu operating system. So first of all, it will check whether you have Java installed or not because without Java installation, you cannot use IntelliJ IDEA properly. So it will check if Java is installed, then skip this part. Otherwise, it will install latest Java version on your Android phone. After that, it will start downloading and installing IntelliJ IDEA on your Termux. Okay, so let's check what it is doing so it is doing installation of java and now you can see java is successfully installed now it is downloading intellij idea 
so it will take some time because the file size is approx 1 gb so it will take some time so i'm going to skip that part for you so you can see now we, our file is successfully downloaded and now it is installing this file in our ubuntu operating system so just wait here and now you can see after all you will get this message successfully installed so it means your intellij idea is successfully installed on our ubuntu operating system so just check so for that just search here intellij and we check our uh, intellij idea is installed or not so type intellij and you can see intellij so just double click on that and add to the desktop so you can see now we have desktop icon of our intellij idea so just don't worry just right double click on it on execute the application so it will open this application in your phone you can see it will take some time okay according to your android device so wait until it's open so you can see our intellij idea community edition is successfully launched now accept all the agree and terms and conditions then click on don't send and wait here and now you can see our ide is properly open successfully you can watch this in full window as well so just you can see that our intellij idea is successfully installed we have all the options available so let me show you just click on create project and you can see we can easily create a project whatever you want so i am going to stay with a default values and click on next and you can see our project creation is started you can see our project creation is started successfully and it will take some time because it will create sample code sample files folders automatically so it will take some time and set up your project for coding so you can see that all the process doing here okay you can see all the process going on now you can see we have all the files and folders created automatically you don't need to create okay so this is a sample code automatically generated by the IntelliJ idea so we can run this code and check our code or project is properly running or not so let's click on play icon on the top and here is the terminal icon so just click on that so we can see all logs here okay so you can see this is the java code editor that's why java code is first compiling then you will see the output okay because that's the way java works so wait until you get output you can see all the processing going on and you can see our output is printed successfully without any error so with this way you can easily run your projects it means our java and our intellij idea code editor properly link with each other without any issue so with this way you can easily run this code on your system it means our intellij idea properly working on our android phone without any error okay you can see this is the output this is the sample output which is mentioned in that code okay so it is properly working so with this way you can easily install intellij idea on your android phone so we cover ev covered everything to install intellij idea on your android phone so now let me show you how you can uninstall intellij idea with single click so if you don't want to use intellij idea you want to uninstall intellij idea don't worry very simple process just copy this command sudo bash intellij idea.sh command to run our script again so just come here just paste here and press enter and you can see we have now uninstall options as well so just type 2 and press enter so it will automatically uninstall all the files related to intellij idea and you will be able to uninstall intellij idea without any error so just click here 
and just search for IntelliJ IDEA let me check uninstalled or not so just type IntelliJ and you can see we don't have any application related to IntelliJ IDEA okay and this is the home shortcut only so you can just delete that manually if you open this shortcut it will not work because we deleted or uninstalled our IntelliJ IDEA okay so with this way you can install uninstall IntelliJ IDEA on your Android phone without any problem so if you like this video please share with your friends and family and thank you so much for watching we will meet in the next video thank you so much for watching